James in Atlanta, Georgia writes to me, he says, Paul, I would assume that there are a number of ADCs, analog to digital converters, that a studio can choose from on the market. Very true. Uh, do they each have their own sonic signature? Are there some that are better or often preferred over others? A and finally, if we as audiophiles want the closest representation of being there live, wouldn't we want to use the same brand of DAC that is used as the ADC at the time of mixing and mastering? Thanks and keep the videos coming. All right, James, I will. Well, yes, absolutely. ADCs are very, very different. A lot of home studios use a product like a PreSonos or a Behringer, and those are okay. They, like any DAC, have a sound to them and a certain level of quality. So let's talk briefly. Well, before we get going, I, I apologize for the mess on my desk here. What you are looking at, speaking of ADCs, look at all this. This is, this is part of the new Pyramix uh, uh, DSD recording system, and we bought two of them. So <laughs> we, we are in. This is the computer, standard uh, build Windows computer with some real hot rod stuff in it. These are the AD, th this is an eight channel uh, ADC and eight channel DAC uh, built by Merging Technologies, and they're very good DACs. They're some of the best in the world. I think we could probably do better, and as I think I've said on this channel before, our chief engineer, Bob Stadther, is designing an entire eight channel ADC and an eight channel DAC that eventually we'll be using an octave records. But for now, we'll choose these because it would, this is really tough stuff. I mean, we need 32 channels of ADCs and DACs to make all this work, and they all go over a network cable, just a regular Cat5 network cable on a network called Ravenna, if you, you may have heard of it. Ravenna can handle, and it's one of the few, there's Dante and Ravenna and a few others out there, but Dante is probably the biggest and best known where a network channel that you can put, I don't know how many channels, 100 channels of digital audio across it on a Cat5 cable and then bring it back into the computer. But Dante doesn't handle DSD, so only Ravenna is, handles DSD, which is of course what we record in exclusively. Um, anyway, enough about that, but on to the James question about ADCs. Yeah, definitely different sound quality. It's why we spent a heck of a lot of money buying high performance ADCs, why we're investing even more money at Octave Records into designing our own ADC so we can get that sound that we're looking for. Um, it's also why we record in DSD. So everything we do is recorded in DSD. Why? Because it sounds better. It sounds more like analog. It's, as, it's the finest analog recorder in the world. And it's digital. But it's not PCM. It's, as we've talked before, it's PDM, pulse density modulation. And, and I'm not getting into that right now. I don't want this to go on too long. But all of that plays into how it sounds. Believe me, if we didn't think that was true, didn't know that was true from what we hear, from everything we study, and certainly from what we hear, we would never go to all the trouble of trying to figure out how to get DSD over the network and into the computer. I mean, DSD is, is a bit of a nightmare. You, you, you can't mix it. Uh, you, anyway. There's all kinds of trouble with it. It would sure be a lot easier just to get Pro Tools and use PCM. Boom, we'd be up and running in a day. You can go down you know, for 50 bucks or whatever it costs and, and do it. But that's not good enough for us. So, and that's because of the way it sounds. So yes, ADCs, DACs, all have a sound to them and performance benefits and not benefits. So. <laughs> Hope that answers your question. All right. Thanks. And I'll 
talk to you tomorrow. Hopefully we can get all this off my, off my area. <laughs> Take it easy.